Conjugation of haben, sein, and other irregular or strong verbs. So, what's the difference between a regular or weak verb and an irregular or strong verb? To conjugate a regular verb, you add the appropriate ending to the stem, depending on what you're conjugating the verb to. That is, the subject of the sentence. Our definition of an irregular verb is a verb with a stem vowel change in the second and third person singular, or the do, er, z, s. As you know, every verb is made up of a stem plus an ending. Remember, we conjugate to the pronouns in this order. Ich, du, er, sie, es. Wir, ihr, sie, sie. Fahren, to drive. In the verb fahren, the stem vowel is an A. When you conjugate it to do, er, z, s, that a changes to an umlaut at a. So, ich fahre, du fährst, er, z, s, fährt. Wir fahren, ihr fahrt, sie, sie fahren. The vowel appearing in the verb helfen. To help is an E. When you conjugate helfen to do er, z, s, that E changes to an I. So, ich helfe, du hilfst, er, z, s, hilft. Wir helfen, ihr helf, sie, sie, helfen. There are basically two groups of irregular strong verbs that you'll see two main stem vowel patterns. The A to an umlaut at A that you just saw in fahren is one group. The E to an I that you saw in helfen is another. So these are your two patterns. A to umlaut at A or a u to umlauted a u and e to i or e to i e you have to memorize the conjugation of irregular verbs knowing these two patterns makes it easier if you can remember these two typical patterns and who can't remember two it will make knowing your verb conjugations much easier hier sind noch ein paar Beispiele. Schlafen, to sleep, has the A to umlautet A pattern. Ich schlafe, du schläfst, er sie es schläft, wir schlafen, ihr schlaft, sie sie schlafen. Remember, it's helpful to use a rhythm to memorize the conjugation of a verb. Hier ist noch ein Beispiel. Geben. To give. Also. The E to I pattern is what we see in geben. Ich gebe, du gibst, er, sie, es gibt. Wir geben, ihr gebt, sie, sie geben. Notice that after the do, er, z, s, the conjugation returns to the pattern you're familiar with from conjugation of regular verbs, simply stem plus ending. There's no difference between regular and irregular verbs except in the do, er, z, s, the second and third person singular. 
Memorize the definition of an irregular verb. Stem vowel change in the do er z s. Be very careful that you don't give ear the informal plural a stem vowel change. Ear is just stem plus ending. No stem vowel change. So here's noch ein Beispiel. Sprechen. Sprechen has the E to I pattern. Ich spreche, du sprichst, er, sie, es, spricht. Wir sprechen, ihr sprecht, sie, sie sprechen. So, ihr sprecht. No stem vowel change. Laufen. To run. The AU to umlauted AU pattern is what we see in Laufen. Also, ich laufe, du läufst, er, sie, es, läuft. Wir laufen, ihr lauft, sie, sie laufen. Lesen, to read, has the E to I, E pattern. Also, ich lese, du liest, er, sie, es, liest. Wir lesen, ihr lest, sie, sie lesen. Haben und sein. The verbs haben, to have, and sein, to be, are two very important verbs. They are irregular in their own unique way. You'll use them more than any other verbs in German. Haben and sein are important because they are also used as auxiliary verbs in the um, present perfect tense. An auxiliary verb is a verb that works with another verb in the sentence. Auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs because they help another verb in the sentence. Conjugation of the verb haben, you'll see, doesn't have a stem vowel change, but look what it does have. Ich habe, du hast, er, sie, es, hat. Wir haben, ihr habt, sie, sie haben. It starts out with the stem plus ending for ich. In the conjugation to do, it loses the D in the stem. It's simply du hast. It doesn't come back in the conjugation for er, sie, es. Er, sie, es, hat. It's simply er, hat. No B. The rest of the conjugation is like any other verb. Stem plus ending. Notice that ear has the full stem. H-A-B. It doesn't lose the B. So, ear hopped. Remember, three forms in English, one in German. So, I have problems, I do have problems, I am having problems. Three forms in English. Ich habe Probleme, one in German. Er hat viel Zeit. He does have lots of time. Wir haben keine Zeit. We have no time. Habt ihr schon die Bücher bekommen? Did you already get the books? Conjugation of sein, to be. Ich bin, du bist, er, sie, es, ist. Wir sind, ihr seid, sie, sie, sind. Can you find what's irregular about the conjugation of sein? That's right, there's nothing regular about it. You don't see 
the infinitive of sine or stem plus ending pattern in any of the conjugation. It is the most irregular verb. It does not follow any pattern. Sine just has to be memorized. Wir sind in Wir sind in die Kuka. We are in the kitchen. Er ist sehr nett. He is very nice. Ich bin müde. I am tired. Sein is translated to be, but you might want to think of it as is. Ursula is my best friendin. Ursula is my best friend. Ihr seid nicht pünktlich. Y'all are not on time. Also, die Hausaufgaben. Choose at least three of the following verbs and write out their conjugation. Fahren, to drive. Helfen, to help. Schlafen, to sleep. Laufen, to run. Geben, to give. Lesen, to read. Or, list at least four rules specific to conjugation of irregular verbs, or three rules and at least one question. Plus, write out the conjugation for haben and sein. Whether you choose the first option or the second option, you need to write out the conjugation for haben and sein. Alles klar? Viel Spaß! Tschüss!